Like, how did these animals get in here? You got a cane. You got pichone. You got, what else do you have? Uh, you have sweating out the shirts. Come on. Oh, la pecoranera. Okay. The black sheep. What else is there? You have all these animals. What did the animals ever do to us? <laughs> is the question I have. What did they do? Ciao, y'all. Naturally Kenya here, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to explore some Italian idiomatic expressions that I personally find hilarious. So if you are new here, you would know that I really made it a mission um, in 2020 to actually take my first Italian level test at B2. Um, and then last year I did the exam at the C2 level. Um, and my basically overall goal is really just to have some certificates in place to just prove my proficiency uh, as a way to motivate myself to actually study and sit down with grammar books and take lessons and become more fluent. I'm always the type to be really uninspired if I don't have like a set objective or a set goal. I'll just postpone, postpone, postpone <laughs> until the end of eternity basically. And so I decided that, you know what, this is the time I'm gonna sit down and actually study uh, Italian like formally. Uh, you have obviously the conversational practices uh, living in Rome uh, of course, but it's very different whenever you sit down with a grammar book and actually learn all the ins and outs of why certain phrases or certain conjugations are used. So if you are new here, my name is Kenya. Yes, like the country. And I'm an American girl documenting my life while living abroad in Rome, Italy. I share all of my life abroad here on this channel. So you'll find tips to help you if you're trying to move abroad. For Italian, you'll find some videos where I'm trying to help you with some things I found to be the most difficult and how I've conquered those particular phrases or grammatical expressions, let's say. Um, and also just overall life in Italy. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Okay, now officially let's get into the video. Uh, I wanted to run by you guys a few phrases that I found to be hilarious on my Italian language journey. And it's just such a shame that you have to get it a really not high level of the language, but honestly, it is like the last bridge, let's say, between C1, uh, sorry, B2 and C1 level um, of any language when you're starting to use these idiomatic expressions. I have a few categories here that I want to review, um, and maybe you guys can start to use some in your everyday language if you're interested in learning Italian too. So let's get started. The first idioms I wanted to run by you guys were those related to mental states. You know, Italians are very expressive and some of these may help you on your Italian language journey too. So the first one is avere i grilli per la testa, which means to have crickets in your head. Anybody want to guess what this means? It really means to be scatterbrained. So you're completely all over the place. You're, you know, a bit eccentric. Just you're all over the place. So it's kind of funny that i grilli, which are crickets, are reference for this it actually makes perfect sense when you think about it because they're all over the place right so your thoughts are all over the place the next one is to have the moon crooked <laughs> is the literal translation or turn the wrong way let's say and that is avere la luna storta avere la luna storta that basically means you are not in a good mood okay like today is not your day the moon is turned in another direction and yeah, you just aren't here for it today. So if that's how you're feeling, you have the moon turned or crooked and that's avere la luna storta. The next one is to have your head in the clouds, meaning you're just daydreaming, like you're really not here, you're on another planet. And this is avere la testa tra le nuvole, which means to have your head between the clouds. So you're really not here, you're daydreaming, you're on another planet, you're just not in the moment. You're scatterbrained, okay? This one too, but a little bit more dreamy. So the next category I wanted to mention for the idioms are related to like regret or misfortune. Um, and so the first one I wanted to mention is to cry over spilled milk. And I feel like we have a variation of this in English as well. And that is piangere sul latte versato, which means cry over spilled milk. We say this also in English. So I found it interesting that somehow Italian and English is connected in that sense for this one. And I guess you could say this is like to dwell on like previous mistakes or things that have happened in the past. 
Another one that I really like is essere un pezzo di pane, which literally translates as to be a piece of bread. Anybody want to guess what this one means? <laughs> is totally not what I expected. I had to guess a few of these and I was like, this makes, this was not my first choice and what I thought it was, but it actually means to be a very generous and kind person. I actually find that to be hilarious. Like, oh, look at you, you're a little piece of bread. Isn't that funny? I don't know, I, that one to me was hilarious. You're kind and generous. Mm. It's funny to me, I don't know. Another one that's one of my favorites is to have holes in your hands and that is avere le mani bucate, which means you cannot hold on to any money. <laughs> to be bad with your money, you spend it quickly. Your your hands are just, uh, they're completely, they have holes. The money just falls right through. <laughs> I think this one is hilarious because in a sense, it makes, you know, perfect sense. No, <laughs> like, of course you have le money buka. They have holes. I mean, as soon as the money comes in, it goes out. The next one I find to be hilarious is to have ham over your eyes. That's a literal translation. Anybody wanna guess what it means? I mean, I think this one's a bit more obvious, but it means like you're completely oblivious to a situation or you don't wanna believe the facts. And I feel like this one can be really used in some of like our girl conversations. You know, when you're talking to your friend, you're like, girl, honestly, you see exactly what the truth is, but you don't want to see what the truth is. <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect phrase for that. Avere il prosciutto sugli occhi, which means to have ham over your eyes, which is hilarious. So start telling your friend whenever she's being delusional, girl, take the ham off of your eyes, please. Now the next one I feel like we use in English as well, and that's essere la pecoranera de la familia, which means to be the black sheep in the family. We say this in English too, so you probably already know what this means. So you can just use this and translate it in Italian as well. And no need to learn this one. <laughs> you know, it's pretty obvious what it is. It just means you're like the odd one out of your family. And uh, yeah, you're just the oddball, let's say. Okay, so if you know Italian, you may have heard this one, but it means to be in a sea of trouble. So pretty much this significance means the same as what it's says or the literal translation which is like uh facing a lot of difficulties to be yeah just facing a lot of difficulties to be in trouble essere in un mare di guai which means to be in a sea of troubles so pretty straightforward here another one is to put a patch on it and it literally means metterci una pezza that's the literal translation. And this is like when you try to find a temporary solution to a situation or a problem, which makes sense. I mean, you just put a patch on it. That's it. You don't really solve the situation. You just try to find a temporary solution for it. The next idioms are related to like practicality, I would say, and efficiency. Um, so this could be useful on like a daily basis at work or something. <laughs> so the first one is prendere due piccioni con una fava which means to kill two pigeons with one bean, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's hilarious. It basically means to accomplish two tasks with one action. So you're being super efficient. I think it's funny. Like how did the piccioni, how did the pigeons get in this? The next one is sudare sete camice, which means to basically sweat out seven shirts. This is pretty obvious. I feel like what it means. It means you're working very, very hard, but it's like, why seven shirts? Like why sete camice? Like why not four? Why not eight, but seven? I have questions. <laughs> I have real questions. I have so many questions when it comes to Italian. It's the same thing with another phrase. It's not, you know, necessarily featured in this video, but you say like quattro gatti, like there were not four cats, which means like there were no people, which is so funny, which apparently is the same in Spanish. It's like, like, or, 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 I just thought about another one. Uh, Non c'era un cane, like there was no dog, which means there was basically nobody there. Isn't that so weird? <laughs> Does anybody else think these phrases are hilarious? There were four cats is the literal translation. I just find it to be funny. Like how did these animals get in here? You got a cane, you got piccione, you got, what else do you have? Uh, you have sweating out the shirts. Come on, oh, la pecoranera, okay, the black sheep. What else is there? You have all these animals. What did the animals ever do to us? <laughs> is the question I have. What did they do? What did they ever do to us? 
But anyway, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. It's just fun to get to a certain point in the language where learning idioms become like a bit second nature. And that's when the language actually becomes like exciting and interesting. It's just so hard sometimes to have the encouragement to get to that higher level, like late B2 level, early C1 or C1 level, C2 level, because that's when you really have to pull out all the stops, including these examples that I just gave you. So I hope they were useful if you are on your Italian language learning journey. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, y'all.